Welcome back guys to the, to the channel. Um, today we're gonna finish the little video on the drawing sketch we are doing last time. So it's just an iPad sketch I started. So just to have uh, to share with you guys some ways I do and so on, how I, I research my, my references. And well, basically I just, my favorite topics always as a Japanese or Asian article, uh, so. And um, I just draw here a, a lotus flower, a bit of uh, waves, and uh, a dragonfly. You know? So basically, today we're gonna finish off the sketch, use some um, printer and, and, and stencil, make the stencil and apply the stencil on. Okay, so, so let's go on on that. So I made a bit of shadings. Basic. So this is a sketch which you need to do for tattooing. So this is what will be basically a tattooing sketch, which is nothing compared to a normal, uh, let's say, other kind of uh, uh, medium sketch, like uh, for painting, for example, or paper. You know, this kind of sketch is, is totally different in the sense of um, the way you apply, right? The way because tattooing is obviously you you you're using a is a, is is a sketch gonna be used for a, a life life tissue which is skin right so and that changes with the time diet uh, lifestyle of the person so on and so on and if you apply away too much details way too much which you normally you do on a paper um you wouldn't hold or last as long as as nice as you did so in my opinion the two the two sketch in general should be as clean as possible uh more solid as possible to have a long span lifetime okay so basically uh first thing i do is just go here on my op op opacity and go minimum of 50 percent so 37 to 50 let's put 50 percent so it's like an old same 49.50 one layer so i i do draw everything individually so like it's one by one so it's 50 again so much 50 Okay, that was the flowers, now is the leaf. So again, 50, 64, 70. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna also make another video on bacon, back on the top of ink, forbidden inks in Europe, right? So I've been reading more about the topic and I would like to share more with you guys about this topic, which is a big thing right now. So 50% all of them. Then I do open a new layer. So this new layer basically is a layer which I, which I will draw to make a sketch, the, the, the final sketch on. I will choose a different color in my palette. So here, for example, I have a, fair, a lot of them, as you can see. Um, I don't use all of them, basically, but you know. I use some different colors. So I have my liners here, and so I have a different color for different things. Or well, basically, you start with your, gray, with your yellow, as a structure-based drawing, so to draw, to get just the, the feeling of it. Then red or orange to get the more the, the, the let's say sculpture the drawing, and then so on. No? So and then and I normally use brown, which I like pretty much. I don't know why, but I like brown. And then I use my pen. Okay, my brush. And I don't know why it goes down to the opposite. Total. Okay, so. Again, it's basically, the way I draw things is, is very simple. I will sketch on top of it here. As you can see, I will just go over everything again. So just to clean up the sketch, see some lines I don't like it, I just left them out. And some I like it, I keep them on. No. So this way, that way. So you have a lot, a lot of a nice okay, here. So it's very simple, nothing spectacular, nothing amazing. It's just a sketch for, it's basically not even for tattooing itself. I mean, I don't have this as in mind to tattoo. It's just like to share a little bit of my, this is my way to do things. Doesn't mean it has to be like that. Doesn't mean it is like that. It's, it's not wrong or right on this, it's just, Everybody have their, their way to do things, right? And it was more like to share with how I, I, I basically research my, my references, how I started my basic structure sketch. 
and also to comment on the fact that you know if you judge i met a lot of people along the way that they do the amazing drawings they do amazing sketches amazing stuff like you like wow you did that so you know that's the question sometimes come out like like spontaneously right but they are not done for tattooing they they, they has uh, this amazing structure amazing ideas amazing um details but when you go down to do what is tattooing this this uh, sketch it become um, unuseful it's not useful at all okay so and then here and here and here then you know get very use the pen as flow as you can don't lose don't 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 get rigid you know and try to not use the the weight of your hand on the, on the screen doesn't mean it will break it just means like a, when i used to do a lot in sketch and paper um uh, I, I saw people doing like a, this kind of a, i always said don't be aggressive to the paper don't don't be angry at the paper it has nothing to do you know has done nothing to you because some people are like and this is something which i don't understand you know it should be very gentle and soft you know and again so you have to see like a a fold on the on the leaf. Again, another one and another one. So this is the little veins from the the leaf. Yeah, here. Same to this side here. Sometimes you just forget to do anything else and just draw and just be in silence. So pardon me if I just be quiet. This is just my normal way to do things. So I sit in the corner and just do things quiet. Okay, so here's the right pass. I can do this guy off a little bit and then get down here. So then have this 3D effect. And so this is pretty much done. This big one. And then this one here. So that's the base of the leaf. No? Then this stem has like a little dust. And so yes, you see. So this time is always this very nice little, I don't know exactly what it is about, it's this really nice little, it's like a, a, sh a dot, uh, dotted kind of um, dust, you know? so here again, so here then you make like a little thing to go in one, So if as you see it, I, I I ignore some lines towards the previous drawing and then redraw a little bit away from that, just because I see that it could be structured a bit more with a bit more accent, a bit more weight, you know. Okay.
no. So this is the basic, the first, the first, uh, the close one. These lines here to give a bit of a 3D effect on it. So tattooing, drawing for tattooing is, is, is a lot of fun because you always can create a lot of things with it. And it's not, not limiting at all. Well, you well. Okay, this is the second one, it's quite done. And then again, the stem here, a bit thicker. This is the big flower. Again, the little dust. Again, same thing. So also soon I will start to get to make some like life drawing stuff. It's just to share and to draw is fun to talk and so on so. Like back in the day I used to do it for friends, get together two or three guys in the evening, someone's house and just draw the whole like a part of the evening, sketch and maybe paint a bit together, you know, and spend time together. It was really cool fun. Back in the day. So here it goes into the middle. So this movement I made with two fingers, and that is to undo things. So on, a, on your iPad Pro, you have uh, options to set up that way with your fingers, so you can use your fingers in different ways to, as a shortcut and as a tool, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. So here, I pay attention that you know you need to be as possible as, as, as close as possible for the the original draw uh, you know flower from on the wild you know so I I draw more more like the way I I imagine the way I like it you know but so it's, there's no wrong or right the way you draw it's it's just the way you draw. Obviously, if you draw the flower on the truck, which will be smacked and unclear, again, is the way you draw, so there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Choices are made and they're, they're 
we respect it. No, so it's nothing wrong or wrong or bad or. As you see, it's pretty much the same as the previous sketch. So I do sketch pretty much two to three times, sometimes even more from the same sketch. So don't be, you know, ashamed or lazy to do so. It's very important that you go over and over again, even if you don't like it, the sketch. That's the best part of it because if you, so you can improve your sketch, your sketch and your skills. So dark at the moment, so let me turn it. So here, I make it just a small, small curve, like an over, overlap of the flower. So I don't make so much on that. Be the same. Also to protect the the the, the dragonfly legs, you know. So the over over. Overdo that. <laughs> so normally this in the in the wild this is Exist for sure is, is part of the flow, but I make it a little bit more, a bit more accentuate, so give a bit more to the flow. It's important because they actually exist. You know? If you take a real flower, they, they are really there. The pollen, you know, they call pollen. So. The middle, the flower middle. So the flower middle has to be very careful because there's some details you can ignore it. All right, so it's the seed of the flower. Okay, so the flowers basically that's it. So then here comes the part where you have to make you want to make it faint look transparent. Sorry. So then you just make it finer and lighter to the detail of between the flower and the the wings of the dragonfly. So dragonflies have a very big eyes. So Keep that in mind so that they should be there, otherwise it will not look like a drone fly. Okay. So little legs. And leg here, so you can look there. Very important to keep everything massive. Also, the stencil. When you do the stencil, you should keep, try to make stencil as clean as possible, because then you can add some details later when you're tattooing you know, your, your sketch. So, at first, just try to keep it clean, clean and neat as possible. So that will help. 
for the stencil to not become as much when the two it was the stencil on. Because for me it happened a lot. So something happened a ton for me when I was beginning. Man, hey. this sketch to be kind of smudged and then um, having tones of pollen to tattoo, you know. So, in this case here, I'm just gonna put this, but normally I would not do that for tattoo, um, not on the stencil, because also when you tattoo, you stenciling. Uh, it can become very blurry if you put way too, uh, too much liquid, stencil stuff, whatever you're using, or if you put too less. So one or the other will be not not good, beneficial to the to, to, to the sketch itself. So I avoid to overload of the details when this for to show it to the clients. Yes, no problem, but to, to to do the stencil, I would not do that. So here's the spine of the, the dragonfly. So I presume that's how it works. Now comes down to the water. So the water is a very, it's very, I would say, it's not easy to do because it's an organic form, so it moves a lot. It has a power, and um, the way I imagine a wave is always like an S. You know? So S this direction, S that direction. Doesn't matter the direction goes, because it has no direction. It's water. Yeah? So in this case here, I just peel, I, peel, I pick one direction only because again, it's just a sketch to, sh to show you guys, nothing, I don't have this for tattoo. So here is a splash, finger wave, but on the way. Another splash, another finger wave. So this is something very important to keep in mind that the flow of this will, do, will make, have a big, big impact on importance on the tattoo later. So keep in mind, maybe train a bit before you even can sketch this well, for real, because it's not easy. I mean, I, I struggle a lot yeah, still. So you can use the right the right way, just take time, analyze and so on, or you can just draw and then that's it. But I prefer to do the first part, which is draw and analyze how it looks like and if it would work or not.
movement of the water so over over layer waves because the wave does as I said doesn't have a direction it's just water no so in this case I make everything going in one direction because it's relatively easy and looks looks good even if we know that the waves doesn't go in one direction only, but... straight up and actually falling so basically it's like a when you in a storm and the water bay breaks into the wall splashes up you know. Okay, so basically this is it. So we have the sketch. So we can remove the background of him, and here we get this structure. So this is the stencil sketch. What do we need for sketching from from a tattoo? No, so a simple tattoo. Uh, we can add much more details by while tattooing, but I would say for stenciling to keep stencil to make stencil but a very beautiful stencil which will not smudge will dry nicely and will become very good for you to tattoo later it should should be a very clean stencil so I will print it off later or well now and then we're gonna make a stencil later so here guys have the stencil stencil is made and you can see it's almost too strong because you can have here some black some parts of very dark but you can see the consistency of the waves, the finger waves and everything, the stencil, the, the, the dragonfly, the autos, everything is there. So this would be a very nice stencil. So if you stencil this on, on a person, on a client, it would, uh, be careful that this is a purple part here. If you put down the fingers and everything you touch will be purple. So be aware of the, pur the purple thing. So basically this is the stencil, as if you can see, right? and it stays this stencil would stay i would say fairly strong on the skin you would have this layer on the skin for sure if you let it dry if you apply in the right way you would have uh, easily for about the whole length of tattooing process at least for the whole lining process so no doubt okay so thank you very much for watching and uh, we see us in the next video thank you very much guys and have a great week bye